Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the Elvis Presley Myers Manx. It's a 125 scale kit from AMT, model number 847. And this is the version that uh, is to replicate the movie uh, Myers Manx uh, that Elvis Presley starred in back in the 60s. Now, the Myers Manx. Uh, was a dune buggy basically produced as a kit car and it was made from a shortened Volkswagen Beetle frame initially for desert racing by Bruce Myers. Eventually they were also produced as street oriented models from bare bones to fully customized. Now one Manx was driven as I said by Elvis Presley in the 60's movie Live a Little Love a Little. Now this is a 213, uh, 2013 re-release uh, from round two and it, it was a, a skill level 2 for the moderate builder. It's also a 4-in-1 kit. Uh, there are many versions right in the, in the kit's parts. There's over a hundred of them and they're molded in yellow, chrome clear, clear red and uh, has vinyl tires and a metal axle. When you're done the kit will be about 4 and 3 quarter inches long, 2 and 3 quarter inches wide and 1 and a half inches high. Here are the decals for this kit. The register is good and the color is great and I suggest you use some aftermarket setting solution for some of the longer larger pieces because it has to go over some pretty uh, good sized curves. It also helps it stick to the body. And please remember to heed all of the manufacturer safety and use guidelines when you hear or see any of the products in the review. For the most part we'll be using tube glue and uh, so occasionally some super glue for strength and, and some white or clear glue for the glass parts. So find these pieces from the kit. Construction starts with the motor and they're all chrome plated except for the distributor and the fuel pump. Since this was pretty much a custom uh, build I left most of the chrome parts intact but I painted uh, the distributor steel with a black cap and the fuel pump is aluminum color. And then I gave the whole thing an overall wash, uh, a black wash which is 50-50 thinner and paint to bring out the details. Now the motor goes and assembles just as the instructions say. First put the two halves together, then assemble the heads and the valve covers on those and then install them on each side of the motor. Add the oil pan and the starter and the oil filler, the distributor and the fuel plump pump to the block and then assemble the fan shroud and add the coil and generator to that. Now the belt is added to the front of the motor and paint that flat black and add the carbs to each side of the covers. Already in the kit's construction you'll start to run into those options. Choose between the muffler and the stinger exhaust and paint all of the pipe steel and the muffler aluminum and then add the rear pipes around the motor. Install both front pipes and line up all three pipe ends at the front. Now add the collector and the muffler that you chose and then put the bottom plate into position. Well as you see both Moody's and Craigers were popular back in that day and so you get to choose either of those and then either the street uh, tire which is the black tire on the right or the sand style tires uh, that are plastic. The sand tires are all, all plastic and they'll need to be assembled and painted uh, flat black or rubber if you use those. Now gather up these parts and note that the tires are different for the fronts and the rears. There are skinnier tires on the front and wider tires for the rear. And also front tires have uh, brake drums with an inner ring where the rears just have a rear rim. Now the instructions have two small metal pins for the front uh, rims to connect to the drums but these weren't in my kit. And, and to get the tires a little more of a used look I, I pressed and rolled the tread on a sheet of uh, 20 a 220 grit sandpaper to give them a street worn effect. Just a reminder, scrape any of the plating away from areas you want to glue and the front tires they go together pretty well. Just install a rim front and then the rear ring and the brake drum. And on the rears you install a rim front and the rim rear. Um, sometimes you can use a little tube glue to keep those pieces together and trap the wheels. Find these parts in the kit for the chassis and floor assembly and paint the floor flat black. The chassis backbone is assembled and it's a body color, in this case yellow. Then assemble the front suspension, steering box and the tie rod and paint them flat black. The shocks are red and attached to the suspension on both the front unit and the rear parts there 
and the pedals are flat black too. Attach the uh, backbone to the floor and add the finished front suspension. Then add the pedals, shifter and the brake lever and install the motor into place on the mounts. Now install the rear suspension and insert the metal axle through the suspension and the transmission. I use some medium super glue on the spindle to attach uh, the front tires to the brake drum. Next go ahead and insert the metal axle into one of the hubs on the rear tires and wheels and then push that through the transaxle and then add the other tire to the other side and squeeze them together for symmetry. Here's a look at the uh, lower side of the uh, floor plate and chassis assembly. As you can see uh, this is how it goes together. And now we have uh, a rolling chassis on which to build the rest of our little dune buggy. Now the body comes in two main pieces and you're, you're going to want to um, clean these up, all the sprue points and sand that off uh, where there's any parting lines. And then the front cover and the body uh, will go together later and the gas tank will need to be uh, installed as well. So these will be the main parts for all the different versions. Assemble the uh, two halves of the gas tank and then install that into the body at the uh, back end and then the uh, front end and then the dash uh, and the windshield mount uh, to the front cover and this will need to be glued into place on the car. Now drill out the hole uh, in the underside of the gas cap and in the front cover there. Now, uh, there are so many choices for this kit. The options are wonderful um, and you'll have to pick which one you want, um, although you could do some mixing and matching. There's an interior rear seat set, a tonneau cover for the rear, a full hard roof, a surrey roof to use with the rear roll bar and windshield, and the front roll bar to make the build into a go-kart. So I'll be using the following options. Uh, I'm going to install the rear seat, which will allow me to use both the tonneau cover and the hard top roof also. So I get three different looks from the same build. And now we can't kid anybody at this point. This is an old mold design and some of it is starting to show. Um, you need to always test fit your parts and when I was doing that I noticed that the front suspension was too high on the frame to let the body sit flat. So I had to remove the gas tank's bottom and use a Dremel tool uh, grind, to grind away some of the body material and make it all set flush. And, and this will all be hidden in the final assembly uh, process. If not done now, uh, you will not be able to build the entire model properly. So I, I've laid out the parts here that I'll be using for this build. And the body shell will be a two-tone yellow with black and the roof will be yellow also. Now the tunnel cover will be flat black, so wet sand the body with some fine sandpaper. Uh, use that 800 wet or dry uh, type of uh, sandpaper and then primer the whole body and the roof inside and out. Grab the dash panel out of the kit and we're going to paint that a semi-gloss black and it has white and black instruments. Now install the steering column into place and just paint or scribe or, or download some generic gauges from the web and print them out to use for your gauge. Uh, panel. The seats have some nice inserts so I painted the outsides uh, uh, semi-gloss black and I painted the inserts, uh, the pleated portions there uh, yellow uh, for contrast and to match the body style. Now that the primer is dry on the body uh, and the roof we need to wet sand that again with some fine uh, 800 to 1000 grit wet or dry paper and then uh, they they need to be cleaned, look for any blemishes, and then uh, fix any of those if necessary. And then uh, black is applied to the bottom half of the car. For a nice consistent color, once we've got the bottom uh, of the uh, body shell painted black and it's dried, we're going to mask that off and then prep the top side for a nice coat of uh, medium yellow to get a nice even hue over the entire model. Here you see the uh, body that's been painted a medium yellow. Just about any uh, medium yellow will work for this. And then uh, the uh, car is then unmasked, uh, as I said, and set off to cure uh, fully before the next step. After the body had dried, uh, I used some of that setting solution and added the racing stripe to the body. Um, before it dries, uh, uh, you want to get rid of any of uh, the beads of water or anything that's trapped underneath. and then. After uh, it's been dried overnight, go ahead and give that a clear coat to seal that stripe into position. 
test fit the body and install that onto the chassis. Then add the steering wheel, dash, and seats into place. And also the controls there, including the shifter and the parking brake. If you use the rear seats, install those now too. Now we can work on the rear end uh, with the tail lights and the plate. And I decided to make a custom plate of my logo. And I just printed it out uh, on some regular uh, white paper with a color printer. Put a piece of tape on each side and glued it into place on the on the license plate holder. Then you can go ahead, remember, scrape any uh, paint or chrome and then glue that into position. Add the uh, red uh, tail light lenses to the uh, chrome bezels uh, using some white glue. And then go ahead and glue the bezels into place at the back fender. Use some white or clear glue to add the uh, windshield to the windshield frame. And then we're going to finish the front end by installing the headlights into the bezels and attaching those to the body. And then the gas cap gets put into place. Now add the windshield and the wipers into place. And if you use the front bumper, install it now. And if you use the mirrors, install either one or both. Now add the tag holder for the license and add the uh, tag if you, if you want to use it. Now the tonneau cover can be placed over the rear seats for a different look. And uh, as you noticed, um, I also added the uh, stripe to the roof on, on the hardtop uh, option there. And then the rear window can be installed into that roof. And then you can set that on the car for yet another variation. Uh, and neither item uh, really needs to be glued in uh, as they give you the option of just setting them into place for different looks on your car. Uh, depending on your kit uh, and the versions that you chose, you're, you're going to have some parts left over for your uh, kit's box. And then uh, it, whatever you like to use or not like to use, um, that'll be available for your next uh, build. And uh, I think that uh, this is great to have all the options for a model like this in one kit. So there you have it. Your model is finished. And uh, this is uh, a reminder of of those days when when things were changing in the automotive business and and in culture in general uh, people were starting to to let their hair down and have some fun back in the in the late 60s and uh, Elvis was uh, a part of that culture too so uh, it looks great it has a number of different configurations that you can use for your uh, for your version build and uh, it's pretty easy build, although you'll have to test fit everything because it is an old mold design. Uh, and we did have some problems there, uh, as you mentioned, as we mentioned with the gas tank, we had to take some uh, that apart and 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 take some off the frame. The decals are still pretty nice, uh, and there are many variations for that. Uh, but this. A uh, custom looking little dune buggy is something that you would have easily seen uh, rolling down Hollywood Boulevard or even on the back streets of uh, Illinois. So uh, if I were you, I'd buy one and put it on my shelf. Well, we hope you like this step-by-step -step premium model kit review and build. And so that you don't miss any more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking on the icon in the lower right hand corner of this review. Or you can find us on Facebook or at our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks!